because data is growing so quickly. Data is growing at 60% per annum, and, and it's changing format, and it's moving around quickly. And uh, the, the demand for real-time data is increasing very rapidly. So I, there are some technological challenges, but I have you know, the utmost confidence in that. Um, and we just talked about security as, as another challenge. I think where, where we're going to see a lot of development is in the tools for more rapidly surfacing this new knowledge and enabling the collaboration between the players. I think one of the other challenges is the amount of data is growing rapidly. So how do we manage those data mm -hmm. um, in a way that we're being as efficient as possible, we're getting rid of the stuff we don't need, you know, the typical <laughs> PowerPoint presentation, you end up, I don't know about you, but you know, I make versions of it, another version, I don't want to throw out the old version, I send it to six people to review and they save a copy of it and then I change the cover page to do it somewhere else and it's the same data over and over and over and we now have technologies to consolidate that but but staying at, at top of that growth um, having policies in place they really need to be automated and we're doing some of that now as well to tier the data mm -hmm. and to delete that which you don't need anymore and that's where I think the really interesting problem comes because sometimes the greatest revelations from big, big data come from what's considered the noise. Mm. You know? And so the, the things you chip away from the sculpture. Exactly. That may turn out yeah. to have, uh, for example, I, I talked about uh, one of the projects which is looking at uh, echocardiogram readouts. Mm -hmm. And you know, a, a doctor, a cardiologist will look at a certain period of time. But these researchers were able to do analytics on the entire readout and be able to recognize that there were several anomalies that would foretell of a two to three X um, um, increase in the probability of a second heart attack. Right? And so it's in the data that might otherwise have been discarded. So right. you know, there's sort of that fear of <clears throat> I don't want to throw things away Too because, quickly, I because may there might solve be gold. the next global problem in there. <laughs> yes, right. There may be gold in that <laughs> there are pile of data. That's yeah. right. That's right. So it's awesome. funny. Last year at Verge, um, I hosted a, a, a um, guru table mm -hmm. on big data. And I started by asking all the people at the table, what's your definition of big data? Or mm -hmm. what do you think the biggest challenge is? And one of the people said, the biggest challenge is get rid of all, get, getting rid of all the noise and getting rid of all the waste and getting to the real data. And everybody else jumped on and was like, no, no, it's about <laughs> finding the new knowledge that's buried right. in that noise. Right, yeah. it's, it's funny, I, I uh, sort of off topic, but I was a, wore many hats in my life and one was as an expressive art uh, person. And what I learned there was how art, it, it's, it's, it's feeling like it's art, because true art is, I like to say, re-entrant. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a former software de uh, developer slash manager from, uh, from uh, the time of commercializing the internet. And I, um, uh, so the idea of this you know, re-entrant re environments, art, true art, every time you meet it, it may have something new to say to you because it's contextual. It's what what it, what is it you're looking for? What state are you in? What 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 does it have to give you now? And um, and if you um, sort of uh, interpret it once and then throw throw it away and hang on to one interpretation, you got but one nugget of wonder. So why we listen to the same symphony over and over again? Yes. So. Um, I will go back to a question you asked me, and perhaps this would be a fitting conclusion about what is so compelling about big data. It's integrating both hemispheres of my brain yes. and bringing the right brain and left brain people together to solve problems. And I couldn't agree more. We need both. Awesome. Thank you, Catherine. I really enjoyed talking with you today. It's a bit my pleasure. Thank